Grants 40 Avenue for the report of a sexual assault where a relay was a suspect. That assault had occurred the night before, but was not part of the original arrest of Goulet and the officers involved in the original arrest of Goulet on the 22nd did not know about that assault. The crime report was taken, the victim was identified, and that report was passed off to the investigation section of the San Francisco Police Department. On the 22nd of February, Detective Elizabeth Butler met with the victim of that sex assault case and conducted a phone call to the suspect, Goulet. After a long investigation and a reported phone call to Goulet, Detective Butler and Sergeant Baker went to Goulet's home. At about 2.50 in the afternoon, Sergeant Baker and Detective Butler arrived at 822 North Branch of Forty Five. Baker and Butler looked for Goulet's residence among a number of residences at that address in that alleyway. It took them some time before they were able to contact Goulet. They made contact with Goulet about 3.15 that afternoon and were speaking to him on the west side of his residence, which initially appeared like the front door. However, the formation of the residence was ultimately determined that there was no entrance at that location. Baker and Butler talked with Goulet for some time, and in that conversation, Goulet resisted their request to step outside. Eventually, Baker and Butler told Goulet that he was going to be placed under arrest and that he was required to come out and submit to their request. At about 3.23, Goulet complied with their request to leave the residence, but had to walk through the residence to the east side, where he stepped out in the alleyway where Baker and Butler were assaulted. Both officers were standing at the doorstep when Goulet exited the home, and within three seconds, Goulet fired five rounds at the two officers from his personally owned .45 caliber automatic pistol. In those three seconds, with those five rounds, both officers were disabled and mortally wounded. Our investigation determined that the first two rounds were fired at Detective Butler. One round missed her, one round took her to the ground. The next three rounds were fired at Sergeant Baker. One round missed him, the other two rounds disabled him and knocked him to the ground. At that point, Suspect Goulet walked over to the mortally wounded Sergeant Baker, fired two more rounds into him, then disarmed him, took his service weapon from him. Goulet then fired another round into Sergeant Baker and walked away with Sergeant Baker's gun. Goulet then fired an additional round into Detective Butler, who was lying on the ground, mortally wounded. He did that with Sergeant Baker's weapon. Goulet then reloaded his weapon, took all three weapons and the unmarked police vehicle, and left the area. Sergeant Baker was arrested. 